If you have a Vizio uh, 50 inch TV or a Vizio TV in general that's not working or it won't turn on, don't throw it away just yet. Uh, check out this video. I'm going to show you how to fix it. Let's hey everybody, it. I've got a Vizio V series 50 inch TV. Uh, this was actually at one of our offices. Um, it was left here by a previous owner. It's actually a really nice looking TV, but does not run at all, does not turn on at all. Uh, so I'm going to take a look at the power supply. Uh, before I throw this thing away, I'm just gonna see if uh, there's some easy way I can get this thing going. So. Let's take a look. To demonstrate, there is a power button on the back. And if I press that button, it will not turn on the TV. And if I try and use the remote, it also will not start. I know the power supply is fine because I use this outlet all the time. So, looks like we're gonna have to open her up. Got the TV face down on a cardboard box, and it looks like there are about 10 screws on the back holding this thing on. So I'm just gonna remove those and pop the back off. There are several small screws holding the back on. Once you remove them, just be careful uh, once you remove this back piece, there is one small connector that you need to remove that goes to the power supply. That's the on button on the back side. So before you take this piece off, you just have to unplug this cord and that plugs in right here on the back of the TV. All right, so this is the power board right here. And since the TV won't turn on, and this is basically a brand new TV, I'm thinking we might just have a bad power board. So I am gonna take a look at some of these part numbers and see if this is something you can buy. I don't see any fuse on here, which is what I was really looking for, but let's do a little research. Here we go, shopjimmy.com. I got a power board and a main board ordered. All right, it cost me just over 50 bucks. And this is the name of the kit that I ordered. Shop Jimmy got me my package in two days. So let's get to it. Power board. Uh, and I also got the main board, which I'm not going to use. So these just came bagged, wrapped in uh, packing paper and in a cardboard box. So hopefully those uh, arrived safe and sound. Over to the power board on the TV. The first thing I need to do before I unscrew it is remove these connectors. So you're just gonna press down. You can see how I got this one out already. Kind of difficult to do with one hand. All right, so I've got these disconnected and now I'm gonna carefully unscrew these five screws that are holding it onto the back. Those five screws removed. You can simply pull that off and let's install the new one. All right, I'm doing a quick visual comparison just to make sure that uh, these things basically look identical, which they do. All right, it literally took about two minutes to put in all these screws. Uh, this connector snaps right in. This connector, actually, I had to use both hands and just kind of really pinch that one to get it on. It's a little bit stiffer, but it's all back together, so let's uh, set this thing up and test it. While I'm at it, I am going to change out the main board. Again, just a number of screws and unplugging the wire harnesses. All right, so I ended up changing the power board and the main board, and I put it all back together. Let's see what happens. We've got the logo. This is a very good sign. Welcome to Vizio SmartCast. That's how it's done.